So you've got another woman to woman video this Friday, even though I did one last Friday, just because I wanted this particular topic to go up um, nearer to Valentine's Day, because that's kind of what it's about. And I don't think I've spoken about this either on my channel or in the kind of chatty videos either, so I just wanted to talk about it today. And the basic idea is about looking good for you or looking good for your man. And there are a lot of women out there who make themselves look a certain way because that is what their partner wants and I just want to talk about where the line is between doing something to make your other half happy and then doing something that's completely not right for you. So in terms of um, kind of personal hygiene I think that can kind of be a little bit of a battlefield because let's face it most men these days do kind of expect a certain um, level of hygiene and most women feel like they have to comply because of that and you have to kind of be um, hair free and really smooth and just kind of really make sure that everything's um, in tip top shape because you are with somebody and I think that's something that's really interesting because I recently had a conversation with my friend who's about to move in with her boyfriend and she said um, I need to ask you for some advice you've been living with your boyfriend for a while now um, and I need to ask you am I gonna have to shave my legs every day so I sort of laughed and said what do you mean shave your legs every day and she said well now I only see him twice a week so I shave my legs on those days and the rest of the time I just kind of let them be whatever because I'm not that bothered but if we live together am I going to have to have them perfect every day and I just sort of laughed and I said well that really depends with what you feel comfortable with and then she said what do you do and then I kind of didn't know what to answer because I'm like that anyway I'm not the type of girl that can kind of let things um slide a little bit and even when I was single I always kind of shaved my legs and I was always kind of um, just smooth and that kind of thing just because it's what I like and I don't know if it's being into beauty that much or whatever it is it's just something that I've always felt more comfortable with so it's something that I've always done now if you are somebody who isn't like that then you shouldn't suddenly start feeling under pressure to be that way just because you've got a partner and they expect you to be that way and I know that a lot of um, kind of men are not that bothered about that type of thing I probably don't even notice but a lot of the men from kind of younger generations I feel do notice that type of thing and they are very concerned about it and they want their women to look a certain way now if your boyfriend says to you you know um I really like it when you're a little bit tanned for example that doesn't mean that you then have to go and wear fake tan every single day and at the same time I do think that you know I have certain things that I like my boyfriend to do so for example I don't like it when he's clean shaven I like it when he's got a bit of stubble so he kind of leaves having a bit of stubble and I don't think it's what he would personally do he'd probably just shave all the time because it's easier but I prefer how stubble looks so he leaves it and I would hope that kind of within most relationships you can kind of feel comfortable enough to say to each other you know like oh I really like you in that colour or if you don't like something just sort of to gently in a non-offensive way kind of be able to say it but you can't let someone else determine how you look and the problem starts when maybe your boyfriend wants you to lose weight then you start thinking wait who am I doing this for am I doing this for me or am I doing this for them and most of my friends always laugh at me about how kind of um, just how kind of together I am about that type of thing but it's because it's what I like so again I for example will have to wear matching underwear I cannot wear underwear that doesn't match I wear matching sets sometimes they can just be kind of plain black sets like what I've got on today um, but I like my underwear to match I just feel nicer and I kind of feel more I don't know just more glamorous if my underwear matches it's just kind of a little weird niggly thing of mine but all um, my friends, when we talk about that type of thing, always think that I'm doing it for my boyfriend and they'll say things like, oh, your boyfriend's so lucky that you're so well-groomed. And I just always think, but why does that mean that he's lucky? I'm not doing this for him. I did this when I was single. It's just what I like and I'm doing it for me because it makes me feel better. But if he said to me, you know, like, I really don't like you in that dress, it would put me off a little bit, unless it was something that I really, really loved. If it was an item I really loved, then I would wear it, still. Um, but there is a certain expectation, I think, of to look good for your man 
and at the same time we're kind of very scathing of that and it's you do what you want and you kind of be how you want to be and that's fine as well but I do also think that we kind of need to make room and try and kind of make a little bit of effort for ourselves if that is what you want I'm not saying that we all should kind of make ourselves pristine all the time for our men because if your man's only with you for that then maybe there's a problem but if it's something that you want to do why do people assume that you're doing it for someone else's benefit why can't I just be doing it for my own benefit for my own enjoyment and for me to just feel like I look nice and I'm kind of smooth and put together it's just something that I really personally enjoy and I kind of enjoy the process of it the same goes for like you know I wouldn't not have a bikini wax for months and months just because I wasn't seeing anyone I, I would just do it for me because it will make me feel better and yeah that's kind of the just little chit chat part of this video I'd love to know what you think and I'd love to know if you kind of think that making yourself look a certain way for a man is wrong or do you think that it's give and take or do you think that you should kind of do what your partner would like? And what are the things that you think are kind of non-negotiable? I know for me that if someone wanted me to lose weight, that would be very hard for me and I'd be very, very upset by that. Um, but if it's something like, you know, I don't like you in that dress, I can kind of ignore it. So it's a really interesting um, subject and it's great at this time of year Valentine's Day as well because everyone kind of you know gets all dressed up for Valentine's Day and you wear nice underwear and that kind of thing and you're kind of doing it for someone else's benefit but I'm talking about kind of year round as well I wear nice underwear every day because I like it I might wear kind of even nicer underwear on Valentine's Day to kind of spice things up a little bit but generally speaking it's for my benefit and also you've got to remember that you know if you're doing something for someone that they find you know particularly sexy or that kind of thing you're also going to reap the benefits of that afterwards as well if you know what I mean so I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and if you've got any other requests for these types of things then definitely let me know um, uh, what else did I want to tell you oh what I'm wearing as well because people always ask and I can never remember at the time my lips are Revlon's Big Apple Red the lip butter my jumper is from Romwe and my nails I can't remember what this colour is called because it's one of those weird random brands um, that doesn't really have a particular colour kind of it's just a number but it's this kind of bright fuchsia purple colour so that's what I'm wearing and I hope you'll have a fantastic fantastic Valentine's Day I'm going away for Valentine's Day and I can't wait and on that note my phone's going so I'm gonna love you and leave you bye